We continue our volleyball previews with the Crosby Ironton Rangers, who are coming off a 16-11 season, but an early exit from the playoffs. The Rangers returned six starters from a year ago with the experience on the court. They will be changing some things in their style of play for 2017. Um, we're, we're trying some new things this year. We're running um, an offense where we have two middle hitters that are also going to be our setters out of the back row. So um, a brand new setter trying this for the first time, but trying to put some athletic and enthusiastic girls on the court. Um, you know, we're, we're hoping to improve from last season and you know, try to win somewhere in that 20 game range. The Aiken Gobblers also lost some key players from last season's 20 win team. But if some experience coming back as well, one of the strengths of this group have to look at their height, including six-foot senior Maggie Fellerman, a key piece up front for the Aiken. We had a really good team last year, and some of the girls are stepping up for varsity for the first time. So I just expect us to have fun and try our best. Strength of this team, we have some height on our team, which is really going to help uh, in the blocking situation and hitting situations. Um, and we've got a lot of... Uh, team unity right now. Lastly, from a lot of experience to very little, in a very youthful team, the Pine River Backus Tigers will be led in 2017 without a single senior. This group consists of all juniors while being thrown into a leadership role could be daunting. The Tigers junior class is excited to take charge for this upcoming season. It's going to be difficult because last year the seniors were a big part of the team and they were, everyone looked to them. So like when everyone looks at us, we have to be like, push it way through. It's a really big responsibility, but I think we're going to do fine with it. We all have a really close relationship with all the girls, and it's going to be fun. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.